Hi, my name is Thomas and I'm going to be showing you today how to make the solar tyre cooker which is the entry from Group 31D from UWA. We start off with the raised version of the tyre cooker as you see on this table. Because there are holes in this table we are just putting a I'm just putting a newspaper layer on top so air can't come up and circulate through the bottom tyre here which acts as a air pocket, an insulating layer from the bottom of the tyre cooker. Next, put my cardboard over. This will serve as the bottom of the cooking chamber. On top, the second tyre. Already we have part of the cooking chamber set up. Next is to insulate the inside of the cooking chamber. Firstly, we come and put some newspaper in the bottom. This is just to create air pockets, uh, insulative air pockets underneath the cooking vessel, which is going to sit on top of this little cushioning area. Okay. With this newspaper on there, we now put a aluminium foil layer on top to insulate from the bottom and reflect radiation from the cooking vessel back up into the cooking chamber. Next, we have loosely Scrunched up newspaper in these sections. This is just to immobilize heating and cooling air from the outside surface of the tires. As you can see, it's a pretty rough job, anyone can do it. And this is going to be an aspect which we hope will improve our design's prospects at adoption within the Cambodian communities. Next, when we have our newspaper insulation, we take some more alfoil. We don't use more than three metres of alfoil in this entire design. And we just sit this on top. And this is going to serve as a reflective surface which is going to reflect sunlight onto the darkened cooking vessel on the inside. As you can see I've got a bit of tape on the outside which isn't completely necessary but just makes the job a bit easier when you're making it. This is really the most time consuming part of the construction. Although it hasn't been completely carefully done in this instance, it demonstrates how simple the design is for the tire cooker. Next, we put our food in a dark container on the inside and we let it cook. So, I don't have a uh, dark cooking vessel with me today, but just as the thermometer is sitting in the bottom of the oven, we put our dark cooking vessel inside and then place our clear plastic lid on top. As soon as the lid is on, the sun is going to come through the clear layer on top, be reflected by the aluminium foil inside to the dark plastic vessel inside, uh, the dark cooking vessel inside, which is going to absorb the heat. And because of the greenhouse effect created by this layer on top and the insulation around it, you're going to keep on building heat through the day until you get to temperatures as high as 100 degrees Celsius where you can start cooking food very effectively. This is the end of the construction video for Group 31D of UWA, the solar tyre cooker. Thank you.